Let's now take a look at Magnetic Ink Character Recognition, MICR, which is used for collecting in transaction processing systems. Now, essentially what MICR is, is a special type of ink that can sometimes contain iron oxide, which is used to magnetize the ink particles. This ink is specifically used to verify documents, which it is printed on. So basically, it's entered into an MICR reader, and then these documents all go through the reader, and as they're read, they get verified that they are authentic. MICR readers generally process at speeds of 1,000 to 2,000 checks per minute. Okay, so now let's take a closer look at what a document may look like. So here's a specific check here. We've got all our data that can be written on it. It's these areas down the bottom where these numbers are written that are the MICR code. And we can see there's four separate sections specifically on this check. The first one has its own particular symbol and that represents transit. This explains which branch, branch this uh, check is from. The second area is known as amount, okay? And it, it includes what the transaction amount is. The third area is known as on us and that's the customer account. And the fourth area is known as dash, okay? And that relates to routing the numbers. So each of these sections is separated by these specific symbols, okay? And tell the MICR reader data about this actual document. Okay, once we actually enter this in, okay, all that's getting read is the bottom by the MRC reader. Okay, and we attain all that data and this document is then verified. So I hope that gives you a bit of a better understanding of how MICR is used for entering data into a transaction processing system. Basically, the MICR characters are read from the bottom of a document by an MICR reader and entered straight into a transaction processing system which validates the document.